Thank goodness in American history, presidents have had the good sense of frequently overruling their advisors and going the other direction. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, we hear in the news constantly, it's the science, it's the science, it's the science. We hear Trump getting blasted because he did ignore this defense secretary, he ignored this or he ignored that, he ignored that. Well, let me just give you one example, and I could give you a bunch of examples, but I'm just going to give you one of my favorite examples because I recently saw it again and it refreshed my memory of a president ignoring his advisors. Once upon a time, this country was engaged in a great civil war. And the president of the Union of the United States was Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln famously had a cabinet of people that mocked him, talked behind his back, made fun of him, didn't like him, wanted his job. One of those was Gideon Wells, the Navy secretary. Well, it was proposed by a guy named Erickson, of course, was not named after me, but it was more Nordic, it was the K. Erickson, this great scientist, says, you know what? I can build a metal ship that I think could make all the difference in this war, take care of any blockade the South would try to do, wipe out their wooden ships, and I can handle this. This is something we ought to fund and you ought to build. And what did Lincoln's cabinet, led by the Navy Secretary Gideon Wells, said, no, 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 that would be a bad idea, Mr. President. That sounds stupid. This Erickson guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. You know, we, we don't want to be messing around with something. So folly is this. Well, of course, the Confederacy built a metal ship called the Merrimack. Lincoln overruled all of his cabinet members, the Nimrods that they sometimes were, and said, we're going to go with Erickson and we're going to build this ship. Well, history tells the story about Erickson building a metal ship called the Monitor. That ship actually had 44 patents to it. It was so cool, so bad, ass. My wife hates when I use that word. 44 patents. And one day, the Monitor fought the Merrimack. And the Monitor kicked the Merrimack's ass. The Monitor then went and blew up wooden ship after wooden ship after wooden ship of the Confederacy. And from that day on, every single wooden navy throughout the world was obsolete and the United States government, the Union, had the most powerful Navy in the world based upon one ship and its 44 patents, the Monitor. It was the birth of the modern Navy. Lincoln overruled all of his advisors. So when you hear Trump overruling every once in a while, some of his cabinet members, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe he's done with me. Are you kidding me? I can tell you this, every single day in my world, I get advice. I sift through it and I make a decision. This is the bulldog, every dog has their day. Thank God Lincoln overruled Gideon Wells. <laughs>